Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is how to become a better uh, pin bar a trader. All right, so probably you already know about a pin bar, all right? If you do not know about a pin bar, if you have not yet mastered the pin bar, if the pin bar is not part of your trading strategy, trading arsenal, you want to learn to master the pin bar. So if there is a candlestick pattern that you must learn and master, is the pin bar because it's only one candlestick bar that you need. So the pin bar, I talked about it before. Some trader may say, George, oh, all right, I already know about it. I don't need to know anymore. I'm an experienced trader, George. Okay, stay with us, please. Okay, here we are. So. You see, yeah? so in order to become a better a pin bar trader, one must combine the pin bar trading with a market principle. So this is what I've been saying to traders for for months. All right, you want to build a reliable trading strategy, a robust trading strategy. You want to become a better trader. You have been using different type of a trading strategy over the year. But in order to boost those trading strategy, you might you want to add to those trading strategy a market principle or multiple market principle. So in order to become a better pin bar trader, one must combine the pin bar trading with a market principle. All right? So there is a market principle that I want to use together with the pin bar here is uh, the market principle that stated that uh, a high volatility is often followed by low volatility and possibility that we may see a reversal. So high volatility may be followed, uh, quite often is followed by a reversal after a low volatility. So what I'm saying to you, so if we have, okay, so the pin bar is a reversal candlestick pattern. So price goes up, okay, Going up, going up since 2009, it was going up. This uh, uh, stock, all right, Destiny, okay, Media Technology Incorporated, APIC DSNY. That's it, about the monthly chart. So it was going up since 2009. And uh, we see a pin bar at the end of it. The pin bar is this one here, this one. So can you see bar that looks like this? Can I put a color into this now? Photo, please. Uh, it's a it's a candy bar that is looking like this one. Either we have a shadow, this is a shadow, this is a shadow. Can you see those ones? This is what we are calling a shadow, or something they call it antenna. Okay, those antenna are telling us there are orders there to sell. Somebody selling there. You don't need a level two trading. Is there the price telling you that there are orders? Okay, the highest orders are piled here. This this zone is piled with orders to sell. That's why we have all this. Not only one pin bar, multiple pin bar. This one, this one, and also this one. So somebody place a lot of orders here to sell. That's what the price is telling us. So anytime price reaches those those zone, probably those are hedge funds. They are just selling. Sell, 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 sell. All right. So they place order here to sell. Those orders were filled. Price came down. They are not going away. They place more orders here to sell. It's a barrage. All right. It's a fence. They don't want it to go beyond that zone. So there are orders here to sell. So if you understand the language of the price, or you understand the candidacy bar, especially the pin bar, you know what's happening. That's why it's so powerful. It usually will take place the pin bar. So we see pattern, the can I see pattern. When we are talking about pattern, we are talking about location. It will take place at the end of an uptrend at a resistance level. So you can, uh, for instance, combine it with uh, Fibonacci key levels. You can combine it with uh, price target. This is about, again, market principle. Price does not go out for no reason. So you can you are likely to see the pin bar in a price target level, 
in a resistance level during an uptrend, all right? So those are the things you want to be aware of, so you may know that it's happening at the correct location. All right? So when I apply Fibonacci extension to this section here, price went up from here to here, just now, you see that they were selling at a 314% Fibonacci extension level of that move here, you see. What have I said to trade about the 214, the 314, the 514, any Fibonacci level containing 14? What did I say? Have you watched that video in full? Do you remember it? Or I am not patronizing you. Try to refresh your memory. If you have been following it for a year, you should know that now. The hedge fund, the financial institution, they purposely sell at 314. 214, okay, 514, whatever you call it, any Fibonacci key level containing 14. If you see a reverse at any Fibonacci level that is with 14, it's purposely done. You can quote me on Twitter, Facebook, anywhere, and say, George said it. <laughs> All right, it's purposeful. This is a purposely place orders to sell here the stock in that zone. And behold, now we have a pin bar. So in order to become a better pin bar trader, what do you need to do? Combine it with either one market principle or multiple market principles. So one example, price does not go up, up or down for no reason. It's headed to a specific target level. Look for the target levels. Price, target level. You'll be surprised now. Like now I'm talking about it, price target level. Some traders say, oh, Joe, there was a, an inverted head and shoulder here. Are you blind, George? Okay. And then they will say, all right, I'm just a normal chart pattern traders, trader. And uh, if you are talking about a target, I know about it more than you, George. And uh, here we are. So they will be using this major stick. So that's the first target. First ultimate target, second ultimate target, and the third ultimate target. Where is it? Exactly that zone. So the pin bar that we are talking about were happening at what? The price target level. So I will be interested in this setup here this pin bar after this one here, I will be very interested in that trade. So you can see that trader responded after the first pin bar was from here at a target level. They sold it down, you see, they sold it down. You see, it went down all the way here. But luckily, that's why I said to traders, in order to achieve consistent winning trade, you must keep banking profits. All right, so you want to make sure you are securing your gain and banking them. Otherwise, you can see here, it went down. The following one, it went back out to close up above, near the high. And then if, again, following one, it went back to the same zone. And they are selling here, purposely. Well, how do I know? Three, one, four, purposely, they are selling there. <laughs> they sold it again. After this can see by it's closed again, that's another setup again, another pin bar. What's happened after that? They sold it again. Using what? Different time frame trading method or TSTW as far as use your eight trading system. This month it went down. Yes, you see the tail. Again, look at this. It went back again. So summary, this is what we call distribution. So the distribution is the opposite of accumulation. So it doesn't happen in one day. It doesn't happen. Uh, it can happen more than one month. So you can see for this store, they are selling it for many months. So that's why sometimes machine trader can be taken out of a train. That's why I say to traders, losing trade do happen. Not because the trader did not make the right decision, but because of other things that are happening in the financial market. They are selling there and they want a price to go back there many, many times so they can fill all the orders at a specific price level, 314. So if I came back to the same zone many, many times, once they are finished, the person that is controlling it, the dominant force has finished, look how that, 
For many years, the stock is now completely down. The rest is history. How to become a better pin bar trader, combining with market principles. So you see now, price target level. Okay, we talk about Fibonacci extension also, resistance level, location pattern. Okay, are you getting it? You get it. All right, good. There is another market principle that uh, that uh, market principle that we can combine a pin bar with to become a better pin bar trader is what high volatility is often followed by low volatility, a possible reversal. Now, if you want to measure the volatility, we look at the size of the case. Look at this case. Well. Long. This was also volatile price section here. How do I know? Because of the size of the candle. You see this one went. Look at this the range from here all the way up here. It's a very volatile candle, but this is very wicked candle bar. <laughs> we'll be talking about those candle bar in another tutorial when I will explain to you what is happening here. Okay, it's volatile. So what we have a high volatility. So there, if we see a high volatility, and after that we see a pin bar, we should be interested in that pin bar. It's an imitation card to sell if we see a high volatility and then a pin bar. So to summarize the video, we want to become a better pin bar trader. We want to combine it with market principle. So many candlestick bar traders have been using a pin bar for years, but some of them are not achieving okay, the maximum profit because they are just using it without combining it with uh, a market principle, they, they could boost their, their pin bar trading strategy by combining it with a specific market principle. I will be putting a link in the description section for the market principle. You will be saying something, blah, 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 trading tips, all right, from Stochastic Dash MACD. I will leave it in the, in the description section. So check it out so you may understand more, okay, about the market principle. There are a few market principles that I start writing about. So this is it. So, so when I see that it's high volatility, then I see Pimba say, oh, 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 what's going on here? All right, so this is the same reaction you should have, all right? Or we see a Pimba in a target zone, all right? In a key resistance zone. Now, as you can see here, it was not easy. Somebody can be taken out of the trade many times or even give up. You want to stay put, and control it. How do you control it if you do not trade it like a pro? You may say, Joe, how do I trade like a pro? You must use a different time frame trading method, a multiple time frame trading method, a top down trading method, TSTWS, USA, or your own trading strategy, and you are using okay different time frame trading method. The different time frame trading method consists of using at least two time frames. Generally speaking, we use three time frames. One time frame for the setup, another time frame for the signal, and another time frame for the entry. And we work with what? Common sense trainer. Huh? Common sense trainer. Very below the common sense trainer. That's why they went to retest it on the edge. He went down. And you bring it back again. This is distribution. So when distribution is taking place, you see that the power will visit the same zone many, many times before they roll it down. You may say, why are they doing that? Well, they should sell and let it go. They know, they know, they know. But you should wait for them. That's why I say to traders, don't be the first person selling. Follow the position traders. The position traders, so I say, to become a better swing trader, I want to understand how the position traders are trading to become a better day trader once you understand how the swing traders are trading to become a better scalper once you understand how day traders are, are, are trading to become a better day trader you must understand how swing traders are trading and so on and so on so you want to understand what's going on and use a different time frame trading method so to become a better pin bar trader use okay market principle combine it with market principle. All right, so there was another one here, can you see? Uh, this is again a pin bar. This one. So price went down. So you now normally, if the price going down, the pin bar that we are expecting is the opposite of this one, which means 
having a long tail. So you may have a long tail, which will be the opposite, turning this one upside down. So the tail, the one that we are expecting is down is this one, with a long tail, something like this. You see this one? If you tail, go down, go down, go down, and then we see a very long tail. We want to combine. So play that will look at a different pin bar, and sometimes they pick the wrong one. You don't want to combine with market principle, you'll be able to select. So this is one, is this one here is a bearish one. Though it went down, they push it up to sell again. Which level? Okay. Location, yes or no? So resistance level. This is a support before, but the price for support in run up. They bring below that key support level. They say, why don't we retest it? Pin bar. Here it is. They sold it again. Those are stubborn uh, bearish traders. <laughs> So now we see a consolidation. This is again a market principle, okay, you see? This is what we are talking about. This is another market principle again. Why, is, why, which market principle? All right, you should know this now. High volatility, again, you see, there was a volatility here. Do you agree? Again, we see low volatility. Possibility that we may see a reversal after a consolidation. But you don't want, that's what I said to you, flip it upside down all the time. So what will happen if there is no, okay, <laughs> reversal? There will be instead a continuation. But the price near zero now, so there's no more room for the price to go down more. So it has been consolidated since 2016. So at this junction, it's a long time consolidation. If somebody wants to play this one, the person must do a due diligence, find out what's going on here with this talk. Why no one is interested to buy here? Check the balance sheet, check the story, check the market share. Do they have a brighter future or is the future looking brighter for them? Is a better management in place and so on and so on. So this will conclude our discussion today about, okay, how to become a better a pin bar trader. The pin bar is powerful, very powerful can seek a pattern that one can afford to ignore, all right? However, one wants to understand how to trade it. In order to become a better PIMBA trader, one must combine the PIMBA trading strategy and the PIMBA strategy that you have laid in the past, combining with market principle. If somebody is selling a trading system or a trading robot, and they are willing to tell you, ask them, just ask them that very important question. Which market principle is your system based on? If they ask you what is the market principle, just don't ignore that system straight away. Ignore it. <laughs> because you will work on a 50-minute time frame, but you will not work on an hourly time frame. Or you may design to be working on one time frame alone. You have to be careful. It's dangerous market violation because one should not trade on one time frame alone. It's just watching a narrow. It's like you are in a tunnel, okay? A tunnel, all right? It's wrong. You want a monthly chart? You want to be curious, isn't it? You go to the yearly chart. Where is my yearly chart? <laughs> it's not showing the yearly chart. This is okay. All right. If you have any question, suggestion, blah, 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 please put it in the comment section and do course. I will be recording another video to answer your specific uh, question. If this video has been truly, truly useful to you, please let us know by giving us a thumbs up. If you dislike it, be sure to mark it down. If you think it's an essential tutorial that can help other candlestick pattern traders, uh, feel free uh, to share it on a social media. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is The Pro Traders. Be sure to click on the notification bell. So anytime we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. To learn more about the pin bar trading, go to www.dayprotrader.com and check out our webpage about the pin bar trading. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. Uh, we are the TSTW, S Y S as usual, a traders talking about how to become a better a pin bar a trader. Happy to to you all. And I will speak to you very soon. Thank you for watching.